Alrighty, so welcome to our first lesson of trigonometry. And all trigonometry means is like it's basically a combination of geo, uh, geometry, and some algebra together. Um, but basically what it is is anytime you have a right triangle, okay, you can use trigonometry. All right, so we're going to talk about trigonometry, which is so ka toa, and I'm going to tell you what that means, okay? All right, so we're going to start out with the do now, so go ahead and do that, and then we're going to go ahead and uh, do today's lesson, which is on trig, and so all we have to do for trigonometry is literally just matching, okay? Matching. So it says identify... All right, we have triangle ABC, so we're talking about this triangle right here. So this is our right triangle, so that for we could use some trigonometry here. Um, and so here's definitions, okay? Anytime you have our right angle, the side that is opposite it is always our hypotenuse. So what is the hypotenuse, right, for triangle ABC? It is 10. Pretty simple, okay? Now, for the next one, it says identify the side that is opposite to 60. So let's do that, right? Here is 60 degrees. The side that is opposite it is radical 75. So I could just write radical 75. All right, so this right here is our opposite, OPP. Um, adjacent, adjacent just means next to, okay? So if it's not the, here's 60 degrees, uh, the hypotenuse, which is this side, is already named. Uh, so the side that is missing that doesn't have a name right now is right here. So this is our adjacent. I always do the adjacent last. Okay. So our adjacent side is 5. So we're going to ask you to pause the vid video. Um, and you're going to go ahead and do the same thing for triangle PQR. Um, and then I will walk you through it. Okay. So here, so pause the video, try it. All right. So hypotenuse of our triangle that we have here, so now we are here, um, is our hypotenuse is going to be opposite our right. So this is 2. If I'm looking at angle 60 degrees, the side that is, so let me just label this. So this is my hype. The side that's opposite 60 is my OPP. So my opposite is radical 3 or rad 3. Um, and the side that is not labeled is my adjacent side, ADJ, and that is 1, okay? So all it is literally is just matching. All right, so let me just go through what we're going to do with our opposite hypotenuse and adjacent, okay? So when my teacher taught me this, my teacher was like, there was an Indian chief, and if you messed up his name, so Katoa, and you spelled it any other way, he came and he hurt you in the night okay so we don't want to do that um so there are six trig functions sine we call this sine not sin uh the next one is cosine and then tangent so here's our uh, abbreviations sin cos and tan so this is the reason why you need to remember so katoa right so sine the s here stands for sine of the angle is equal to my o stands for opposite so that's opposite over H stands for hypotenuse. So I'm going to put hype right there, okay? C stands for cosine. So the cosine of theta is equal to A is adjacent. So it's adjacent over the H is hypotenuse. Do you see why this is valuable for us to know how to spell his name? And then T stands for tangent, so the tangent of the angle is equal to, O stands for OPP, so opposite, and then our A stands for adjacent, okay? So we're going to do a couple of problems. Um, so if I said to you, hey, whole class example one, if I said find the cosine of B, so let's write that down, so ka toa, right? So cosine is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse, right? Because I'm doing the ka part. So A stands for adjacent, and then H stands for hypotenuse. Um, and so now I'm just going to label it. So 
here is cosine of b. This is b, right? I want to find out where I am standing. So it's easiest for me to label the hypotenuse first. So let's do that, right? Here's my right angle. Opposite this is my hypotenuse. Okay, so I have my hypotenuse is equal to 13. So I'm going to put equals hypotenuse is on the bottom. See that? So I'm going to put 13 on the bottom. All right. So then I want to find my adjacent. But if this is the person that's standing at B, the one that's opposite it is 12. So our OPP is 12. So we are not going to use 12 because in cosine we don't have no O's, right? We don't have any O's here. So the side that's left over is our adjacent. So I'm going to have 5 over 13. All right. Pretty straightforward. We got this. So I'm going to ask you to go ahead, pause the video, try this question. And let me walk you through it, right? So tan soka toa. So that stands for opposite over adjacent. So let's go ahead and label, right? Here's our right angle. The side that's opposite it is my height. That's my easiest one to pick. Uh, here's my angle. It's x. The side that's, this is my OPP. And the side that's left over is my adjacent side. All right. So I want to find the tangent of the angle A, um, or the tangent of, in this case, right, tan of x. So I'm going to do my opposite side. So tan of x is equal to OPP, right? Opposite goes on the top, so that is 8 over my adjacent, which is 3, goes on the bottom. And so there is my fraction, 8 over 3. All right, whole class example two. So this is the same thing that we're doing except now on a grid. So an angle is in standard position. Uh, terminal just means end, right? Your terminator, your ending. So it's going through the point negative three, four. So I'm gonna go negative three and positive four, and I'm gonna put a dot there. Um, and then I'm always gonna draw from the origin, right? I'm going to draw my line, make this a little bit bigger so you can see. I'm going to draw my line from as good as possible, right, the origin to my point. And then I want to always draw it with respect to the x-axis. So here is my right triangle. See the right triangle right here? So I could just go ahead and stop and label hypotenuse, right? Um, here is my angle right here, so this is my theta. Let me do that a little bit better. Here's my angle, and this is my theta. Um, and so if I know that, right, then the side that is opposite, it is going to be over here. Here's OPP. And the side that's left over is my adjacent side. Okay, 